Hello Zany friends and welcome to another book review video. Today I am reviewing the book The Fifth Avenue Story Society and it is a kind of a mystery but not really there's a mysterious element to it but it's also kind of a romance novel. I'm going to read you what the synopsis is on Goodreads. It is a little long, so bear with me. An invitation to join the Fifth Avenue Story Society gives five New York strangers a chance to write their own stories. Executive assistant Lexa is eager for a much deserved promotion, but her boss is determined to keep her underemployed. Literature professor Chet is dealing with a broken heart, as well as a nagging suspicion his literary idol, Gordon Phipps Roth, might be a fraud. Uber driver Chuck just wants a second chance with his kids. Aging widower Ed is eager to write the true story of his incredible marriage. Coral, queen of the cosmetics industry, has broken her engagement and is on the verge of losing her great-grandmother's multi-million dollar empire. When all five New Yorkers receive an anonymous mysterious invitation to the Fifth Avenue Story Society, they suspect they're victims of a practical joke. No one knows who sent the invitations or why. No one has heard of the Literary Society, and no one is prepared to bear their deepest secrets to a room full of strangers. Yet, curiosity and loneliness bring them back week after week to the old library, and it's there they discover the stories of their hearts and the kind of friendship and love that heals their souls. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to read this, and I do want to start doing this on a lot more of our book reviews, is because I feel like... Uh, you kind of need more of that background um, for the book, but also for this book in particular, it is kind of complex. So as you see that there are five characters who technically they don't really know each other except for one guy who was in jail overnight, like in a holding cell with one of the other guys and was also married to a woman that is also in the group. So there is that connection. But other than that, they don't really have a lot of other connections. So I really thought the story was super interesting. And it really kept me going like, what is the connection? What are they trying to do as being together? Who was it who put them together in the first place? And what was really interesting about the story is that everything you think you know about these characters kind of gets turned on its head. They all have secrets, they all have things that they are trying to keep to themselves or that they haven't fully, they haven't fully dealt with within themselves either. So I think that has a lot to do with this. I do have to say though, that in the end, the end of the book, what I will tell you is that I didn't know that the book itself had like a faith element to it. I had forgotten that I had gotten it from a faith-based publisher. But the way that they brought about the faith element in this book was not preachy and it didn't like shove anything down your throat. It was just kind of there in the background and I kind of appreciated that a lot more than just ones that are like very preachy. But I won't give away the ending of, of, of everything, how it winds out. I just thought that the way that it all summed itself up was a really nice way to end the story and I thought the story itself was a good time. I was able to read it over a couple days. So yeah, I really like surprisingly liked this book. I think I'm going to give it a four stars because I really I really did kind of like it. Um, I just wanted to know about you guys. Do you like these kind of faith based? And if you don't like faith based, do you like romance books? So which one which one do you do you like or none? Let me know down below in the comments and we will talk about another book again later. So until next time, stay zany.